Hi, good morning and welcome to meditation. It's still very hot here in the Basque country. Uh, today is the 31st of July, it's the last day of this month, and we continue meditating on the importance of being a disciple of, of Christ born from above. We are reading John chapter from John chapter 2, verse 23, to John chapter 3, where there is the amazing sto uh, story of Nicodemus who came to, to meet uh, Jesus and to, to listen to what Jesus had to say to him about being from, born from above. The Greek, Greek word could be translated as born again or born from above. John in chapter 1, verse 12, says that Jesus has given us the power to become children of God. And then in verse 13, he says, born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but the will of God. It's a new birth that is, comes from above. The rebirth, this rebirth is necessary to enter the kingdom um, because it cannot, not, nothing else can, can uh, uh, help us to enter the kingdom. If we are not born from above, we, we cannot enter the kingdom. That's why this rebirth is important. It's not just important, it is necessary. I mu we must be born from above because everything comes from above. John chapter 3, verse 31, Jesus uh, says, The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks as one from the earth. The one who comes from heaven is above all. Jesus is above all. As it is written in the book of Revelation, he is the one who was, who is, and is to come. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the only one who can give us a new birth. He is the only one who can actually save us. He can save us. John chapter 19, verse 11, it is the judgment of Jesus Christ. Jesus is comparing is before, um, before, he's before uh, Pilate. Pilate, and then he's going to say this to Pilate, which is extremely important to us. Jesus answered, you would have no power over me. You have no power over me. Nobody has got power over Jesus. Why? If it were not given to you from above, from God, new birth comes from above. Jesus comes from above. The power comes from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin, says Jesus to Pilate. This is important because uh, Jesus, the one from above, has the power from above, give us the birth from above. Jesus is emphasizing in John chapter 3, verse 6, that the, that, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. The, the, the one who is born of flesh is flesh, and the one who is born from above is a child of God. The flesh implies human weakness. The Spirit of God implies the power of God in us. Therefore, if entering the kingdom cannot be done by the flesh, the way we think about being a kingdom citizen or, or a disciple has been completely changed. The, the whole Jewish religious system has been actually replaced by what is eternal. The New Testament tells us that the, the Jewish religion was just a shadow. It's a shadow of something that comes before it, because the shadow is after the object, is after the thing. Your shadow is after you, because the light is behind you. So the religion of the Old Testament is a shadow. Jesus, says Colossians, is the, re the reality. The reality is Jesus, and what he brings is also reality. In Ephesians chapter 2 and chapter 3, Paul is talking about the church as being an eternal project. In chapter 2, he says, you people from uh, Ephesus, you were that dead. And then he says, us Jewish, we were dead as well. And we are all united by the blood of Christ, we were, we were uh, risen. We, were, we came out of death through Jesus Christ, through the power of the cross. So there is no formula you can follow to, in order to be born from above, above. It's an act of faith. And no one can enter the kingdom of God by obeying the law. It doesn't work like that. I live here in a region where we, we make, uh, people make uh, this precious, expensive ham. 
is that raw ham that uh, they eat in Spain as well, a lot. Uh, and some people believe that they should not eat uh, pork. They should not eat ham. They should not work on Sunday, not work on Saturday, not to work on Friday, not eat meat, not eat this and that. There are a lot of things we are not allowed, supposed to eat these days. You can do all that, but it's not because of that that you are going to enter the kingdom of heaven. We enter the kingdom of heaven by faith in the work that Jesus has already done. It's interesting that in the beginning of the, the story, John tells us that Nicodemus was a teacher. He was a religious man, but he hadn't entered the, entered the kingdom of God. That's why he came by night to, to talk to Jesus. And, and Jesus is going to tell him, unless we are both, one is born from above, you can, they cannot, you cannot, nobody can enter the kingdom of heaven. God bless you.